reactions. So this is where you start learning how to do reactions and such. Um, don't worry about uh, predicting. You'll get the hang of it really easy. Very easy. Um, so I've just got an example here where I have uh, hydrogen chloride, also known as um, HCl. Uh, yeah. Uh, plus Na2CO2 or sodium carbonate um, yields. So I'll actually explain this later. Yields um, CO2, carbon dioxide, plus water, plus salt. Um, when I say salt, I mean edible salt. I probably shouldn't say salt because that is confusing sometimes, uh, considering this is a base plus an acid. Okay, so AQ, aqueous, that means it is dissolved in water, or can be. Um, the subscripts is the Na2, and that represents that you have two atoms of sodium, and you have three of carbonate. Uh, solid, not soid. Solid, um, and then yields. So it's like a equivalent to an equal sign, but don't think about it always as an equal sign because it can go in the opposite direction, like this. Um, G is gas, L is liquid, and that's aqueous. Now you need to balance it, which means you have to have the same amount of um, atoms on each side. Now in this case, uh, you can add a two and a two, and it's balanced. Um, for precipitation reactions, um, these are like the uh, solubility rules almost. Um, it is, actually, sorry. Uh, all common salts of the group 1A, 1A, um, and the ammonium, all common salts of the group 1A and the, so, the ammonium ion, NH4, uh, are soluble. Um, all common acetates and nitrates are soluble. Oh my god, I can't talk, sorry. All binary or two element compounds of the group V11A. Uh, here. Yep. Um, not including fluorine. It's different. Um, with metals, so combining the compounds of group V1A. Uh, with metals are soluble, except for the metals of silver, mercury, one, and lead. Um, except for those in rule one, carbonates, hydroxides, oxides, and phosphates are insoluble. Alright. Take a quick break here. Kind of. Not really. Um, Alright, so we've got a reaction here. Uh, it's all balanced. Um, but we want to look at the ionic, and that means breaking it down. So, like, this compound is broken into two parts, into its polyatomics and its bare bones. Uh, so, like, before you crisscrossed it, essentially. And put with its charges, and if it's aqueous or not, or if it's solid and it cannot be broken up. Net ionic basically means that you get rid of everything, so you look for relatively the solid thing, or the liquid thing that was produced. In this case, it was solid, um, and you want to look at which ions uh, created that, and that's all you need to write down. It, yep. For redox reactions, you just have to remember Leo says jur, or loses electrons, oxidation says, oh, don't need to say, says, uh, gains electrons reduction. Acid base reactions, acid plus base equals a salt. Um, not sodium chloride always. Um, that's basic chemical reactions. Uh, thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye bye.